Ohio State gets a win over Clemson. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the Buckeyes. we got Pat Murphy on the line from Bucknuts 247 Sports. Of course, it's one of the industry standards, so we invite you to head on over there to check out uh, Bucknuts and Pat's work in particular. Hey, Pat, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am doing just fine. Uh, of course, uh, Clemson fans remind me constantly and probably get to you and uh, the staff over there from time to time as well. And four dash zero means something. So they tend to throw that out there, uh, whatever that means. But uh, in regards to the recruiting game, these are two major players right now, Ohio State and Clemson battling for some of the best players in the country. And one of the more recent ones is Jordan Hancock, original Clemson commit or at least a lot of people had him leaning in the Clemson direction. And now he uh, has made his commitment to Ohio State. Actually, I saw a Twitter feed in which he he made some kind of statement about being a Buckeye for life or a Buckeye forever. So that's a pretty adamant statement right there from the fifth rated cornerback in the country. Yeah, this is an interesting one because back in, in the fall, Jordan Hancock visited Ohio State. Um, and a lot of people had him as an Ohio State lean at that point. And then in March, he made an unofficial visit to Clemson and committed to, to the tie shortly thereafter. Um, and then just recently, we saw him announce his decommitment from Clemson, which doesn't happen very often if, if we're being frank. Dabo Sweeney's done a great job. But, you know, once these guys commit, locking them down, you know, they ask that guys don't take other visits and, and things like that. So generally, when you see a guy commit to Clemson, he sticks. And so this was a, a, a bit of a surprise um, from that perspective, obviously there there'd been some speculation, um, you know, on the on the back channels that that maybe he would he was looking elsewhere or thinking about elsewhere. But yes, yeah, so Hancock decommitted, and five days later he announces his commitment to Ohio State. So, in a way, uh, as you put it, this this was a win for the Buckeyes over the Tigers, something that's never happened on the field. Uh, Hancock, as you mentioned, is is a top cornerback commit in in this upcoming class and something Ohio State really needed with guys like Jeff Okuda, Damon Arnett leaving for the NFL this past year, Sean Wade likely to go the year after that. Um, they, they've needed to, to refill um, kind of that that cupboard um, there and, and not that it's it's ever really bare at Ohio State. They do a great job with it. Uh, developing and, and recruiting corners but uh, you know this class in particular will help that Jordan Hancock along with Jaqueline Johnson and Denzel Burke um, two other guys that are coming in to, to be a part of of the cornerback future at Ohio State so a big win for Ohio State um, they like the the group that they've got but but Hancock certainly adds to that with with what he's able to do um, you know coming from coming from a, a top league in Georgia. We see the trend continue under Ryan Day that was established by Urban Meyer that really set the standard in the Big Ten. And I'm alluding to the recruiting efforts um, that everybody goes south. Everybody goes to Florida, Texas, and California. Those three states produce uh, just about 40% consistently of the top three to 500 players in the nation. Uh, But the Nebraskas and that level of program is heading down for the third or fourth tier in Florida or Georgia, or somewhere like that. Penn State, Michigan, Notre Dame will grab really good prospects out of Florida, Georgia, those places. But in regards to battling for the very best, it's the SEC down there, of course, because that's their geographic footprint. And it's basically an Ohio State dynamic coming from anywhere else in the country to battle out the best in the SEC and Clemson for those top recruits. Yeah, I mean, that's that's where the, the top football is being played, as you mentioned right now. Um, if you're going to compete at a, a national level, you have to land some of these guys if, you do, if you're not in that region. And, and Ohio State's done a good job with that. Obviously, you know, the Midwest has its fair share, Ohio, Pennsylvania, of, of top players. But, the, you know, to, to have a roster and a depth like Ohio State wants to, to be able to, you know, put together three straight Big Ten title seasons and, you know, make it to the college football playoff on a fairly regular basis and, and things like that, they've got to land some of these top prospects from the South. Um, and they've done a good job of that. Hancock's a, another example, but you know, if you scroll through their their commitment list, there's a number of guys from from that region, you know, in every class. And like I said, that's an important part of it. Um, you know, they've also recently started to to establish themselves out in California. Texas has been um, a place that that's been good to Ohio State in recent years. So 
Ryan Day and his staff, and you mentioned Urban Meyer before him, done a great job of, of identifying those areas and finding ways to, to get in um, with high schools down there, with prospects down there, and it's led to the success. Um, you know, I, I think if you go back to that national championship winning team in 2014, you know, the number of kids that came from from Texas or, or the South, uh, the SEC country, you know, we're, we're I wouldn't, wouldn't say surprising, but there were a good amount of them. And obviously they, they made a big impact. Um, you know, just names off the top of my head, JT Barrett, Von Bell was from Georgia. Um, JK Dobbins last year is a kid from Texas. So Ohio State is certainly a national brand. They're going to go wherever they identify top talent and they usually do a pretty good job. You're not going to hit on everybody in those regions, but this is just another example of, of getting a win from a uh, top player in, in the STC country. We appreciate everyone joining us here at SC1 Sports. Uh, head on over to Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football as well. And of course, lock it in at uh, Bucknuts 247 Sports in regards to Ohio State football talk and the latest on breaking news with recruiting always at the forefront of the number one rated recruiting class in the, in the country. Uh, Pat Murphy joins us on a regular basis. Pat, we appreciate you stopping by. Absolutely. Anytime.